As our world gets busier, our day-to-day -day lives become increasingly more complex. We see new technological advances, and it alters our own understanding of ourselves. We envision our new world and our own place within it in new ways. The same holds true of our understanding of healthcare. As healthcare practitioners, you now have new tools and systems that enable you to take care of your clients in ways you've never imagined. But are these modern tools and systems any better? How do they, in fact, apply to indigenous peoples and their traditional ways of healing? To dance is to pray. To pray is to heal. To heal is to give. To give is to live. To live is to dance. Mino Bimadzwin. This video presentation provides healthcare professionals with a short yet informative introduction on the importance of indigenous traditional methods of healing as it applies to indigenous peoples. It is crucial for those who practice within the spectrum of mental health to understand the relevance of the cultural services we provide and to make referrals to our center when appropriate. Historically, indigenous ways of healing have often been regarded as unfavorable when being compared to Western mental health medicine. Indigenous peoples believe that a state of well-being is comprised of attaining balance amongst the mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical aspects of the individual. Therefore, the traditional indigenous approach to healing restores the balance of these aspects. Terminology such as traditional medicine and healing carries a particular meaning when used within a Western context. Indigenous peoples use these words and phrases as well when addressing healthcare concerns. The concepts are similar, but in our eyes, healing and medicine encompasses practices that promote the physical, psychological, emotional, mental, and spiritual aspect of one's life. The healthcare system can be an intimidating and impersonal process for the client. A culturally relevant and holistic approach provides a sense of security, safety, and familiarity for the client, thereby improving the compliance and efficacy of the services provided. Healthcare, all too often, ignores the importance of tradition, culture, and community. Many traditional healers address their clients' needs by using culturally relevant approaches to healing that may not be part of the regimen used by Western mental health practitioners. Methods such as herbology, drumming, and ceremony are effective holistic methods of healing that help the community with the ailments of concurrent disorders. Remember that healthcare begins with you. So, how can you help us bridge the gap identified in Indigenous care? Most healthcare providers are only familiar with the Western European approach to healthcare, and as such are generally unfamiliar with the ways of traditional indigenous healers and how they relate to the members within their community. There is more than one path to healing, more than a singular approach to healthcare and mental well being. Traditional medicine's holistic approach is paramount in maintaining well being among indigenous people. A traditional Indigenous worldview embodies a connectiveness to Indigenous people. Western models of mental health treatment tend to focus on removing the person from their surroundings. This can be detrimental to their recovery. For Indigenous peoples, effective treatment involves developing programs and providing services that are integrated with traditional Indigenous healing. Family and community should always be regarded as mutual supports in healing. Indigenous people also view mental wellness through a holistic lens. Wellness for the Indigenous community means being in a state of balance with their family, their community, their environment, and themselves. Traditional healers address their clients' needs by using culturally relevant means of healing. The medicine wheel is the traditional Indigenous representation of the stages of life. There are four cardinal points to the medicine wheel, all of which are fundamental to the indigenous community, especially when considering one's approach to healthcare and healing. These four points are represented as one's spiritual, mental, 
physical, and emotional aspects within themselves. Each of these points are represented by their own colors. The teachings of the medicine wheel are vast and integral to indigenous culture. It contains the seven stages of life. There are also the seven grandfather teachings of honesty, humility, courage, wisdom, respect, truth, and love. The four directions of the medicine wheel remind us of many things, not least of which is the need for balance in the world, which includes the balance we must strive for every day within ourselves. We are the Indigenous Network. We were established in 2003 by a group of local Indigenous residents, and in 2009, we opened our first location in Brampton, Ontario. In 2014, the Indigenous Network officially became a Friendship Centre in partnership with the Ontario Federation of Indigenous Friendship Centres, and just last year in 2018, we received charitable status. Our mission at the Indigenous Network is to build a sense of community for the Indigenous peoples in the region of Peel and beyond. We provide awareness and education of Indigenous heritage, as well as add clarity and instruction to the current issues within today's urban Indigenous population. The Indigenous Network provides a forum where we can meet, share, and learn from each other. We are an invaluable resource for services and support to our community. Our culturally appropriate methodology embodies Indigenous worldviews. We are your partners in traditional health and healing. The Sweat Lodge Ceremony provides mental healing by freeing the mind of distractions and offering clarity in a confused and chaotic state. This ceremony contributes to spiritual healing by allowing for introspection and connection to the earth and spirit world. The environment also activates the sympathetic nervous system, releasing serotonin and endorphins to help create an elevated mood, including feelings of euphoria. The Full Moon Ceremony is an Indigenous woman's tradition that celebrates the cycle of menstruation. Also known as the Moon Time, this sacred ceremony empowers women. It is a time for healing, sharing, praying, cleansing, and giving thanks to the Creator. A time to reflect and ask the Creator for guidance in all aspects of a woman's life. Sharing circles symbolize completeness. It is an indigenous tradition that utilizes prayers and sacred objects. It is a safe environment and free from judgment. This ceremony is a place where one can feel free to express him or herself in a manner that is comfortable and culturally appropriate to them. Especially in these modern times, elders are a vital source of indigenous knowledge and healing. They are the keepers of traditional knowledge, heritage, of teachings, stories, and ceremonies. They are sought out as leaders and educators. Elders provide guidance through their teachings and stories as they were handed down. Meeting with an elder is different than meeting with a secular psychiatrist or psychologist in that the elder uses a holistic approach while caring for the individual's mind, body, and spirit. Other services include drumming circles, talking circles, Reiki healing, sacred bundle workshops, dream catcher workshops. Healthcare providers can develop new competencies when serving their Indigenous patients in tandem with our services. Again, we urge you to make referrals to our center when appropriate so that we can be a part of the patient's supportive, inclusive treatment. Together, we can further assist them in their journey towards healing.